The video you're about to see is for historical purposes only. It is an almost daily snippet of 1010 Winds broadcast in New York City and the New York City metropolitan area. On my morning commute, I listened to this news broadcast and decided to share a snippet of the news for historical purposes. The mission is to record history. Limit and Mr. Biden will helicopter back here to the city for private campaign fundraisers happening in Manhattan tonight before he heads back to the White House. And a couple hours from now, the House Republicans say they're going to be unveiling details as to their claims of new findings as to the Biden family business dealings, including uh, the president's brother and son Hunter. The White House is calling all this a political stunt. Wednesday news time, 8.09. Later on today, rideshare drivers and delivery workers are going to be holding their second annual memorial. This is for app workers who lost their lives on the job. They're demanding that companies like DoorDash, Grubhub, Lyft, Uber do more to protect them on the job. And they're also looking for compensation and more benefits for workers who are hurt as they do their job. This is happening in Union Square. We're told it'll begin around 11 this morning. And also some uh, pretty important economic news is going to be coming to us a little bit later on. The data is closely watched to see just how bad inflation is impacting Americans. Last month's numbers showed the CPI increased by 5% over the prior year. Economists predict April's figures will be about the same. The Federal Reserve has a goal of returning inflation to about 2% and has indicated they'll raise interest rates again to achieve that goal. So stay tuned again for our Money Watch reports at uh, 26 and 56 as we wait for the consumer consumer price index. When's news time? 810. Pretty chilling details about the shooting at the Texas mall from this past weekend. Officials now say the shooter involved had eight legally purchased guns with him. A couple on him and the rest in his car in the parking lot. He chose his victims at random, they say. Eight people were killed. 33-year-old Maurizio Garcia was then shot dead by a police officer. But the real question is why? Here's the answer. They don't seem to know Hank Sibley from the Texas Department of Public Safety. The big question that we're dealing with right now is what's his motive? Why did he do this? Well, the big question is we don't know. That's what the investigation is trying to find out. We do know that he had neo-Nazi ideation. He had patches, he had tattoos, uh, even his signature, you know, verified that. Garcia had no prior criminal history of any kind. But he had posted photos of the mall area on social media in mid-April. Wednesday news time, 8-11. Let's get your traffic and transit once again, always on the ones with Karen Stewart. As we check what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels, we're looking at 45 minutes into the Lincoln and Holland, the inbound GW Bridges 50. Now, we've also got this Route 3 delay. Uh, I see you guys. You jam from 17 out to Secaucus, but then it eases up a little bit before it heads over to 495 for the Lincoln Tunnel. Uh, so I'm not going to include that in that 45-minute number. If I did, it would be over an hour. So that's the deal on Route 3. Now, uh, if you're heading out to the GW, again, it's a 15-minute wait. The outbound George is about a 15 to 20-minute delay. We're jammed on the westbound Cross Bronx and the southbound Bruckner from the interchange out to the Sheridan Expressway. The inbound RFK Bridge is very heavy. So is the inbound side of the Queens Midtown Tunnel, which delays it'll take you back to Main Street on the LIE going westbound. We had an earlier uh, problem inside the Queens Midtown. That's been cleared away. By the way, that Brooklyn-bound Verrazano upper-level accident, that's been cleared, too. Southbound Route 440 in Jersey from the truck lanes of 190 Community Avenue. We've got an accident blocking the right lane on the ramp. MJ Transit looks good. The path looks good. Alternate side parking's in effect and was sponsored by Charles Tirrett. Hit the refresh button on your workwear and wardrobe of quality menswear from Charles Tirrett. The London brand makes it easy for you to look and feel your best. Check out their famous range of over 600 sharp shirts at ctshirts.com. Use promo code TRAFFIC to get three shirts for 99 bucks plus free shipping. I'm Karen Stewart, 1010 Winds on 92.3 FM. Accurate weather forecast for you now. Well, we were talking about this earlier. It's at least a little easier day for you to describe the weather, I guess. Yeah, it is. Uh, in the next couple of days, I'm um, really uh, enjoying, after the last uh, couple of weeks of unsettled chilliness. Now, uh, the warm-up is going to uh, really get going uh, a little bit at a time here. Today's temperature is back above 70 by a few degrees. Tomorrow's even warmer. Upper 70s in the city, low to mid 80s inland. And then the warmest day is going to be on Friday. Temperature about 84 for the high in the city. I think uh, Newark and 
expecting some of those inland suburbs could get into the upper 80s, right around 80 on Long Island. And then there'd be a couple of fronts come through, maybe a shower, thunder shower later Friday. Uh, into Friday evening, we go with the chance of uh, those showers returning again later Saturday. In between temperatures on Saturday in the mid 70s, I do think we dry out for Mother's Day on Sunday with highs closer to 70 degrees, but we'll keep an eye on that. One other thing about the, the this situation today, you'll notice a little haze in the atmosphere, and that is from wildfire smoke well up into the upper levels of the atmosphere, coming all the way from Alberta, Canada, believe it or not. Sunshine, a little haze, 55, a nice comfortable morning, and we're going up to a pleasant 72 this afternoon. I'm Aki with the meteorologist Dean DeVore on New York's weather station, 1010 winds on 92.3 FM. Still looking for a gift for mom. We have a pretty unique idea we'll share with you coming up when's news time 814 broadway's hottest new musical is also the most nominated show of the year some like it hot has now been nominated for 13 tony awards including best musical best actor christian borrell and jay harrison g best sets best costumes best book best score best choreography and best direction it doesn't get better than this don't miss the blockbuster musical the new york times calls exhilarating unstoppable obviously a hit some like it hot the most nominated best musical on broadway this at telecharge.com today. Wow, I just had the wildest dream. Did we play HGTV's My Lottery Dream Home scratch-off game? Yeah. And win one million dollars? We did. And by the home of our dreams? Yes, and we were on that HGTV show with David, David Bromstad. Wait, how do you know all this? Because you talk in your sleep. Find your dreams at home. Play HGTV's My Lottery Dream Home scratch-off game from the New York Lottery for a chance to win up to one million dollars. Please play responsibly. Must be 18+. plus. It's easy to think all money managers are pretty much the same. But at Fisher Investments, we're clearly different. Different how? You sell high commission investment products, right? No. Fisher Investments doesn't sell any commission-based investment products. Well, you must earn commissions on trades. Nope. Never at Fisher. We're a fiduciary obligated to act in our client's best interest. It's the highest standard of care for a financial advisor. How do you know what's in their best interest? We get to know our clients and then tailor a portfolio based on their goals and needs. But you probably sneak in some hidden and layered fees. No. We have one transparent management fee structured so we do better when our clients do better. Wow, you really do look out for your clients. That's because our top priority is helping them achieve a comfortable retirement. It might be why most of our clients come from other money managers. Visit FisherInvestments.com to find out why investors like you switch to us. Fisher Investments. Clearly different money management. Investment. Gasoline here on Lakeview Avenue and Clifton Avenue is for cash. It's two ninety. Is that an eight? Two ninety nine. Two dollars and ninety nine. Two thirty nine for credit, and three dollars and fifty nine cents for diesel. He's giving twelve free nuggets to mom from today through Mother's Day. They're perfect, tender, juicy. The Nuggets of Appreciation Meal. It comes with sides, biscuits, and dipping sauces as well. They came up with the special because according to their press release, moms love their little nuggets, both their kids and their fried chicken. That's pretty looking good. And that's uh, Stacy Lynn. And, you know, those of us who get up at 2 in the morning, I'm ready to have that probably right about now. I actually wouldn't mind that for Father's Day. KFC. When's news time? 817. Let's talk about Tucker Carlson. He's coming back. Former Fox News host Tucker Carlson is relaunching his show on Twitter. Twitter has long served as the place where our national conversation incubates and develops. Twitter is not a partisan site. Everybody's allowed here, and we think that's a good thing. And he seemingly took a dig at his old company when he talked about media organizations peddling propaganda that's later debated on Twitter. We know exactly how it works, and we're sick of it. Carlson didn't give a date, but his announcement comes weeks after parting ways with Fox following their multi-million dollar settlement with Dominion Voting Systems for spreading lies about the 2020 election. Sunshine now, 55, but a beautiful morning as we're going to head up to a 72 later on today here in the city. But during a courtroom hearing, the attorney for Tiger Woods, that would be J.B. Murray, is talking about this non-disclosure agreement that Tiger Woods had with his ex-girlfriend that uh, requires legal disputes between the two to be decided privately by an arbiter as this uh, goes forward possibly in court now. They're unable to meet their burden challenging the existence of this agreement. The agreement exists. The enforceability of it is a very different question, and that's for the arbitrator to decide. And that case, of course, would focus more on Tiger Woods' past.
That sunshine is bright. The winds are calm now. Humidity is dropping. We're at 55 and a cool start this morning, but a beautiful afternoon. AccuWeather says we're going to top out at 72. Mid-80s tomorrow, upper 80s for some inland suburbs by Friday. Can you say beach? When's this time? 818. Hi, I'm attorney John D'Agostino. If you've been injured, you need a lawyer who knows what you're going through. I understand how one accident can turn your whole world upside down. I've been there. I'm a local guy. I grew up on these streets and worked all through law school. After school, I built my practice one client at a time. It didn't matter where they lived. It didn't matter how big or small the case was. I was there to make sure someone paid. Why? Because I've been there. I now run D'Agostino & Associates, a personal injury law firm I built right here in New York and New Jersey. For over 30 years, D'Agostino & Associates has been helping accident victims get every dollar they deserve. We've recovered millions of dollars for people just like you. Call now, 888-24-LAW-24. D'Agostino & Associates, a personal injury law firm that offers free consultation. And if you can't make it to us, we're going to come to you. I've been there. Call now, 888-24-LAW-24. 888-24-LAW-24. Law 24. D'Agostino Law Fight Back. On this beautiful morning, sunshine 55 on our way to 72. And if you could use $10,000 for your small business, why don't you go to 1010wins.com slash challenge to find out how. But don't wait because the deadline to enter is this coming Sunday. That's 1010wins.com slash challenge. All news, all the time. This is 1010 Wins at 92.3 FM. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world. Good morning with the sun, 55 here at 820. I'm Glenn Shuck, and here's what's happening. George Santos, the Republican freshman congressman, expected in court on Long Island today facing federal charges. We don't know exactly what those charges are yet. Our Sophia Hall has that coming up. Just a couple of hours it took for deliberations, a jury finding Donald Trump guilty of civil charges for sexual abuse and defaming E. Jean Carroll. New York City grocers demanding the state pass new laws that crack down on shoplifting. They say they need a break. New federal task force saying women should begin mammograms at age 40 instead of waiting to 50. Now we're going to tell you who won the best in show, the Westminster Dog Show, last night. Well, the Devils are in trouble now. They lost 6-1 to one to Carolina, and they now trail in the playoffs there three games to one. The Yankees won, beating the A's, but the Mets lost in Cincinnati. Accu weather, sunny and nice today, 72. With new sign 821, let's see how things are going. It's traffic and transit always with Karen Stewart. Well, as we check what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels at the Hudson River, uh, we are looking at delays inbound at the Lincoln Tunnel of about 45 minutes. Now, previous to this, we are jammed on Route 3 eastbound from Route 21 into Secaucus. It doesn't attach itself to that 495 delay, so that's why the delay is only about 45 minutes at the inbound Lincoln. If we included this delay that goes back to Route 21, you're talking about well over an hour at the inbound side of the Lincoln Tunnel, but that's what you're going to sit in if you're on the Route 3 approach, unfortunately. We've got Route 46 eastbound approaching 21 in Clifton with an accident block in the left lane. Now, the inbound side of the Holland Tunnel is absolutely 45 minutes, if not a little bit worse. And the inbound side of the GW Bridge is about 50 to 55 for the upper, about 45 to 50 for the inbound lower. We are jammed at the RFK Trogborough. We are packed in as tight as we can get. Out of Queens, we've got Bronx span delays, but out of Queens, the delays even back up the BQE bumper to bumper eastbound from back at Northern Boulevard, trying to get to the Grand Central Parkway going westbound. Now over with Mass Transit, we've got Bronxbound B and D train delays. Both directions the ends are delayed. And alternate side of the street parking rules and regulations, they're in effect today, citywide. We are sponsored by Schweiger Dermatology Group. Our next report is 831. I'm Karen Stewart, 1010 Wins on 92.3 FM. May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month, and Schweiger Dermatology Group is committed to keeping your skin healthy and cancer-free. With online bookings and convenient locations, it's never been easier to prioritize your skin health. Visit Schweigerderm.com or call 844-GERM-DOC to schedule your appointment today. When's news time 822 expected in court? Central Islip on Long Island today, Republican Congressman George Santos. Congressman George Santos has admitted to lying about so many different things. He has also been accused of stealing money to be used for a veteran's dog, check fraud in Brazil, campaign finance violations, the list goes on and on. And today we will find out the charges against him. Right now those charges are sealed. Jody Cass Finkel is with the group Concerned Citizens of New York 03. It's still outrageous that he's been sitting in Congress for the last 
four months. We have known that he is a criminal. We know that he's a liar. We know that he's an imposter. And the fact that Kevin McCarthy was willing to support him and put him on committees, you know, and just keep him in Congress is, is, is such an insult. And Nassau County Legislator Josh Lafazan has been pushing for Santos to step down for months. So the way we heal is by getting justice here. George Santos needs to be expelled from the House immediately. Sophia Hall, 1010 wins a 92.3 FM on Long Island. Wins News Time, age 23. Manhattan jury yesterday finding Donald Trump liable civilly for sexually abusing E. Jean Carroll in the 1990s. Jurors rejecting Carroll's claim that she was raped but did award the advice columnist a major sum, $5 million. This is E. Jean Carroll on Good Morning America on ABC This Morning. I only decided to come forward and tell what happened. I thought that was enough. And then he said terrible things about me, dragged me through the mud, ground my face in the dirt. It was horrible. And so I talked to Robbie Kaplan, and Robbie and I brought lawsuit against Donald Trump. And the Trump legal team saying they will appeal. The topic certainly to come up when Donald Trump appears at a town hall. That'll be happening on CNN tonight. Wins News Time 824. Quite a nightmare for a family visiting from France here in the city. A 71-year-old man from Paris attacked in Midtown Saturday by a group of teens who punched him at 55th and Broadway with his family around him. And the man had to be treated at the hospital for bruises on his face as he and his family were cornered by these five teens, they say, as they had just left dinner during their vacation here in New York City. The search for the suspects goes on. The cops have given us a photo now, given us a photo to put up on our website. We're going to do that at 1010wins.com. They believe uh, this person was the puncher, the picture we're going to put on the website. Now, we're being told this family is actually flying back to France today, ending their vacation. An arrest has been made in the sexual assault of a woman in East Harlem that happened earlier this week. Giovanni Romero Gonzalez, 26 years old, in custody now for the attack that happened Monday morning about 9.45. A woman raped at 111th Street and 2nd Avenue. That victim, 21 years old. Gonzalez, homeless, arrested yesterday, we're told, at the shelter at Randall's Island. When's the news time, 8.25? A win for the Yanks and not for the Mets, and the Mets have some more injury woes. Yeah, Glenn, a 10-5 win at the stadium featured two RBIs for Aaron Judge in his return from the injured list, plus a combined two home runs and six driven in for Glaber Torres and Jake Bowers. You see one guy get the job done, and that only makes you want to get the job done even more. I think we're kind of in that mode where it's been feeding off each other the last couple nights. Bowers and company with 24 runs scored the last three games. Meantime, the Mets fell short in Cincinnati 7-6. Max Scherzer scratched with neck spasms, and Buck Showalter earned his first Met ejection. We were going to make a run at him. We just couldn't uh, stem the tide. Almost coming back from 7-1 to one down, and with word the Mets and Phillies will play two games in London next season, no doubt some Mets fans would just assume they leave now after losing 6-7 of seven and stay in England. Mark or day, 10-10 wins sports on 92.3 FM. Wednesday's time, 826 now, Bloomberg Money Watch. Here is Steve Potus. Well, uh, Glenn, there are growing signs that uh, housing demand may find its footing if mortgage interest rates can ease back. The Mortgage Bankers Association Index of Applications for Loans to Buy Homes rose almost 5% last week to a one-month high. That coincided with a small decline in the rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage to 6.48%. Now, the MBA's Index of Refinancing Applications rose for a third week to the highest level since September. Travelers are not happy about their airline experience. According to a report from J.D. Power, North American Airlines received what's equivalent to a C-plus rating. That's slower than last year. The only exception were first and business class passengers who say service has improved and voted JetBlue as tops for premium tickets. Surprisingly, Southwest took the top spot for economy travel. Ahead of a look at retail inflation, S&P futures are down now six points. NASDAQ down seven, down in the red 70. Bloomberg Money Watch at 26 and 56 past every hour. I'm Steve Potisk for 1010 Wins at 92.3 FM.